Hello again, everyone. My name is Nathan, and we are here again for another Modern League match. This is going to be round three, piloting Jeskai Geist. We're currently 2-0. We beat Burn 2-1 and then Grixis Control 2-0. So off to a reasonable start. I have just enough time to play a game, and that's questionable, before I have a meeting. So I'm going to try to get it in. This is the list, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, here we go. We are in the match against... Mark 31. Uh, yeah, I think this is okay. Um, some removal slash burn, a couple snaps, serum visions. It's not amazing. Obviously, these hands feel more amazing when they're stuck ice of same trap, but it's definitely not one we can mulligan. Uh, so we're going to keep and see what happens. Hopefully, it's not black, white, Eldrazi. Uh, is this another Grixis deck? That could be good for us. Looks like it. Okay, um, I'm going to assume it's Grixis. Yeah, let's see how... I think I'm going to Serum Visions. Do I? Let me think. Get Colonnade if he plays... No, I think we're... If he plays like a Jace... I think we're fine to then kill it. Um, I kind of want to. The thing is, I kind of want to find a path now for. Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually am just going to go ahead and Serum Visions. If I really need Helix something next turn, I can play Castle. That would make my curve a little awkward, but um, I think it's okay. So Electrolyze, Sacred Foundry. Um, let's see, this is one, two, three, four lands we already have. I think I'm going to put this on the bottom and they can find to keep with the electrolyze and we'll pass here you know what deck I know this isn't I know this isn't Grixis twin could this be four color Delver Grixis Delver interesting Gitaxian probe means it's definitely not um, definitely not control wooded foothills okay I'm confused I'm sure it will uh, actually, could it have been ad nauseum with Grave? I guess it could have been. I mean, it still looks like Grixis to me. Um, I'm I'm confused. Sleight of Hand? Sleight of Hand, Serum Visions, Probe. Oh, okay. So this is Suicide Zoo? Um... I I think we're just supposed to helix that. I mean, clearly he knows that we can, but it could get it could get out of hand quickly. I think if we helix, um, he's probably going to mutagenic in response. Let's see, it gets minus x minus x. Sorry, it gets minus twelve. Uh, I don't know what else we're going to do, so we'll do it. Yeah. I actually have a terrible record against this deck. It's very possible we should have just been, we we should have just he looks at his face. Um, not so good. So I think we're going to have to chump, obviously, next turn with a Snapcaster Mage. Um, and if he can give one of them double strike and trample, we're just 
dead. That also makes us dead. Okay. Sweet. I find this deck really annoying. I guess because I just think it's a stupid deck. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I want Engineered Explosives. I want um, Dispels. And I want a Celestial Purge. And don't want this. This is a possibility. Um, don't want Thunder Maws. Um, don't want Electrolyze. And I don't want... I can cut a Geist for sure, because I, I don't need to Geist him quickly. Um, I wonder if... I, I don't think Electrolyze really kills much. Um, I kind of want to steal a look at... It's been a while since I've looked at one of these lists. Oops. Deaths. It's the Shadow, right? Yeah. How much time do we have left? A minute and 50 seconds? Okay. Um, suicide Zoo. Let's assume it's this. Death Shadow, Kiln Fiends. Is, they both have that. Monster Swiss Beard, Death Shadow, also Kiln Fiend. Um, Interesting. Four thought sees in that list. His looks looks a little bit more like this and a Grimmag Angler. Okay, so I think that the electrolyzers are pretty bad. Um, so we're gonna cut those. No electrolyze. Um, I think Verdict's okay. It might be kind of slow. We are on the play, though. It can't be countered. It just kills everything outright. Uh, I don't know that I like Mana Leak or Romance, but, I mean, we just don't have... Don't much else to bring in. Need one more card. Um, core Firewalker. I mean, I don't really think that's it. This seems way too slow. Um, I guess Geist. Submit. I don't know. Yes, play first. Um. Ooh, I mean, it has a path, but ooh, it has nothing else. So, oh gosh, this is a tough one. This is tough. This this can't be a good hand. But I could easily mulligan into a very removal light. I'm mulliganing. Hmm. Am I mulliganing? Uh. Yeah. Mm. I feel like this is going to get us in the exact same position that we were in. But I'm going to keep it. And this doesn't really matter. But actually, no, I am going to I'm going to bottom that and play colonnade. Sweet. Um, let's cast this. I 
All right, so at least it doesn't pump the toughness there. We are going to fire this off end of turn for sure. I mean, we could try to protect it with a, you know, we could wait and be a little bit more sure that we're going to kill it. I mean, if, he, if he's got mutagenic, though, this same thing happens. But, I mean, we have a, we basically have path to exile so that we can ensure we kill it. Sure. We have two path to exiles. Um, so what I'm definitely going to do is I am going to shock. And the plan is to, let's see, if we path now, we kind of accelerate him. Um, we could path and be 100% sure to get rid of this. Um, or path it as upkeep. And we have a dispel. Because what I really want to do is I want to kill this and then path the next thing and then have dispel to dispel like some kind of protection spell if he has it um, I'm gonna do this at his upkeep I have two paths and I have the dispel and if he spends if, if he if he plays something I'm not even sure what it would be if anything don't look it be anything I don't it doesn't look like he is likely to have a way to protect it. And if he does, then he wastes the protection on that one. We dispel it. He probably can't play another creature this turn. Even if he did, then we have path and dispel. So I think it's fine. Ideally, we don't want him to play anything. That way we can just play Geist. All right, we are definitely going to path him now. Um, yeah, we're just going to play Geist. And it doesn't, I'm just keeping Dispel up on its own doesn't matter, so. I don't see a reason to shock ourselves there. Um, I think we want to cast this. Snapcaster Mage, Path. Okay. This. For those of you that wonder why I like Serum Visions, we would just be drawing all lands right now. I'm going to bottom all of those. Um, I feel like there is a chance that he won't block with Gurmag Angler. He has two cards in hands. They're probably pump spells. I actually think we don't attack. We just want to dispel whatever. If he tries to go for the kill, we want to dispel whatever will actually kill us, like Team or Battle Rage. Is that a, it's an instant, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So do we fetch? We know we put two lands down. I don't think so. Bolt. Oh, we're getting close. Um, to attack, he goes into four. I feel like 
I think we can just pass again here. We can also attack Bolt Gurmag. Um, I don't like that. I don't mind that plan either. And then he's just dead to a colonnade attack. All right, let's try it. I mean, maybe this is all wrong, right? I did say I have terrible win rate against this deck. He's casting something. Another one? Jeez. All right. We just need to draw. So, okay, that works. <laughs> I was starting to feel bad about scrying some of those lands to the bottom, but it all worked out. Okay, so I don't think we change anything. Um, Wait, how did I board again? Did I take Remans out? I think I like Remans in. Because Remans super good against Grimag Angler. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in. Interesting because you know I was thinking how great explosives would be on one, but he's actually a little bit more explosives proof than uh, than this list with Swiss Bear because he has Kiln Fiends, Death Shadows. Does he? Well, we don't know that he doesn't have that. Uh, but see, this one doesn't have Gurmag, but it does have Street Wraith. I who knows what his list is exactly? Some kind of amalgamation of all this. Um, I think we have to mulligan this. Um, I mean, we have all this selection, but he goes turn one death shadow and we have to serum visions with our turn. I don't know. I'm going to mulligan and hope for a better hand. This is not a better hand. We really just need path to exile like crazy bad. I mean, it's got a removal spell, but you guys know what's going to happen. This is going to mutagenic growth and then we're going to die to the damn thing. I don't know that I want to mulligan again, though. Oh, man. We go down to five and we get... I mean, we get a scry now, but... I'm going to keep it. I, I, I don't think it's great. I don't think it's what we need, but... I guess I'm going to keep the bolt. I mean, it's a removal spell. think we actually shock here and the reason if he plays a creature we get to bolt it and then if he mutagenics we get to untap and try to kill it again with this other bolt hmm I think we need to save that because I don't know I just don't know what to put it on 
Uh, I think we just play this like this. The good thing is, though, if he does play a Death Shadow, we can Explosives it next turn. Considering how much damage he's making himself take, it feels like he might. Oh, he's going to, um, yeah, Garmag. All right, so what does Team of Battle Rage say? Double strike until end of turn and trample. So this is a dangerous one. This is also a really dangerous one. But he's not going to be able to cast that, so... Uh... So we, we can double bolt if we draw another red source, but I think I just, I'm gonna do something with my turn. I think I'm just gonna bolt his face. We drew a path, which is great. Um, do any of these lists run any type of dispel effects? I mean, not that I see, but oh yeah, they do. They well, this that one runs ran stubborn denial. Okay, well I'm just don't I don't want to get blown out by that, so I'm actually just gonna in this case I'm gonna path now. I'll play our land pass. Man, I wish I could put Vendillion quick into play. I'm gonna bolt his face again. Oh, look, he did have one. So that means he's at least not going to be able to counter our explosives unless he has another one. So it was certainly worth doing that. Um, If he has another Storm of Denial, then maybe we're dead. Playing against this deck is essentially like playing against Infect. Just it's not Infect, but it more or less feels the same. The long pause means you either have an answer or you are just annoyed that we're casting Engineered Explosives. So either pass priority or cast your response. But don't make me wait, man. Come on. Why are you making me wait? I don't get it, because, like, if you have a spell pierce, I mean, rather, if you have a stubborn denial, then just cast it. If you don't, then you don't. Maybe he has a spell pierce and he's trying to decide if he wants me to tap out or not. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna pause. But here's the thing: if I pause, then he's gonna pass. And but we'll pause so you guys don't have to wait with me anymore. Well, just so you guys know, he's actually making me wait a good long while. I don't know how many minutes or seconds it's been, but I'll keep waiting. See you guys whenever he passes priority. Oh, he actually lost connection to the game. I just saw him rejoin. He lost connection, I guess, two minutes after I cast that, so maybe we'll get a response from our opponent here quickly. One thing I'm actually thinking uh, in the back of my mind is, do I take damage from the Death Shadow? Because I can literally blow up engineered explosives whenever I want in response to anything. 
and great it resolved and i'm almost willing to take like four or five or six off this death shadow to ensure that he can't play another creature like he can't play another one he would be able to he would he would be able to play like a um a kiln fiend or a gurmag angler so the only way that this really helps us is in the event that he has another death shadow in hand if he has another death shadow in hand then he can't play it this turn so it's a lot to think about so right now if he's going to do anything and he wants me to take more than five he has to because if we get priority then we go straight to damage So he's past priority, so we can go to 12. Um, the only downside is if he has, like, let's say he does have another creature, Gurmag, Kiln Fiend, whatever it is, then we're kind of taking six, and then we have to come, we still have to come up with an answer. But I'm actually going to let myself take it because, let's see, that's real, it's really sketchy, but. If he has another, basically, if he has another Death Shadow, he can't play it. Then I end of turn, pop the explosives, and draw step, click him, and take it. I'm going to let myself take take the damage. You guys can scream at me, tell me how dumb I am, but that's what I'm doing. Another Grim Mag Angler. Okay. <clears throat> so um i think we want to click now and we just want to we want to take like we want to we want to see what he has and take like team teamer battle rage or become a man so he just has another death shadow um hmm so we can take the threat but then we give him a bunch of draws at let's see we are one land away from killing him with click and colonnade. So I don't actually think we take anything. Land and thing. So he actually did have another Death Shadow in hand. So now he's got another land in a Death Shadow. Okay. So let's see here. Mm, that's not exactly what the doctor ordered. Going to attack. I'm 
and we're going to have Flash and Restoration Angel. We'll target him again. Teamer, Teamer Battle Rage is, is the bad one. If he didn't draw Teamer Battle Rage, then, I, then I'm okay with clicking him here. Kiln Fiend. Um, yeah, I think we just try to draw another land. I do we take that? If we put Kilmfiend on the bottom, he has to draw exactly Team or Battle Rage for this to kill us. I'm gonna risk doing that. I mean, maybe we, maybe that maybe we didn't maybe that's wrong, but I think Team Team or Battle Rage is the only thing that gives him trample. And then we just block, block. Try to draw, hope to draw land. Actually, no, that was, what am I thinking? That was totally incorrect because we're not actually killing these creatures. Um, we could have just left him with that because we just have to draw another land and then he can't certainly can't kill us so we've actually just given him a chance to have drawn a way to kill us If we had Team or Battle Rage, it'll be really sad. We should have just let him keep it because we just our out is to draw a land here. Maybe he's gonna lose connection again. <clears throat> I don't know, for a second I got it in my head, I don't know why, for a second I got it in my head that we were going to, like the board would be empty after this, but that, and then, you know, then he doesn't have another threat, but Restoration Angel can't kill a Gurmag Angler, Vendillion can't kill that Death Shadow, I just had like a weird brain thingamajig. Uh, well, you know what's up. Darn it. Okay, so where did we go wrong? I don't know that we did. I guess didn't have to we didn't have to take the damage from the death shadow. I don't know that it really made that big of a difference. Um I'm thinking just I mean, we sent the bolts upstairs, and we wouldn't have killed anything with a bolt. We really, we really only path one thing. Um, I guess we path two things. This game, um, we drew Geist. Like our options there were, we could have put Geist into play. He had a mutagenic growth. Um, let's see, we're at seven, so we. You know, if we had, if we had played Geist, we would have been forced to block anyway. Maybe there's not a way to get out of this for us.
Oh well. I'm just annoyed. I, I'm tired of losing to that deck. I feel like I don't have to lose to that deck, and I always do. Every time I... I think I've only... I can check my other spreadsheet, but I want to say I lost to it every time. Okay, 2-1 in the league. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And... Subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys for round four at some point in the near future. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.